What you want to do is you want to get a blanket, right? A pillow. Have a blanket or have a pillow for safety for your head. Plant that down. Find a wall. If you don't have a wall, get a buddy. If you don't get a buddy, get a wall. Okay? Alright, so plant your blanket or pillow down to the mat. Having the wall as a safety net for your headstand. What you want to do is just facing the wall. Make sure your fingers are parallel towards the front of your mat. Coming onto a four fold. So from here, lifting your hips, draw your elbows back like chaturanga, round up your back. So engage your posterior chain, which is all your back muscles. And then make that shelf on that elbow behind the tricep or outside. So I'll try, I'll show you from the outside. So from here, lifting up your toes. So I'm coming into the crow or a frog stand, right? The elbows on the outside. Now, I'm squeezing and engaging my elbows. What I'm going to do is tuck my head first, chin to chest, and then slowly lower my head down and then just collapse. Right, resting my head. And then I want to reposition my elbows on top, my knees on top, <laughs> creating that shelf on top of my elbow. And I'm in tripod. And then the next thing you can do is just lift your feet up, pressing your sole your feet into the mat. Use your hips, posterior to your hips forward, right? Pressing your sole your feet. So don't dump your weight into the wall, don't dump your butt. Lift up off the wall. Right? Keep engaging your elbows, pushing through your shoulders, and then maybe bring another one, or you can straighten them like that, right? For another one. And then when you're ready, bring one on top of the shelf, two on top, and then coming out of it is really tricky. <laughs> so what you want to do from here is just really press into the mat. Press and push away from the mat. And as you're pushing away, so you see I'm kind of rocking and pushing away, right? And this will take some getting used to. So rocking, pushing away, and then I'm going to use momentum as I push away, lifting my head up, my gaze up. So one, two, three, lift up, and I come back out of prone, land onto my feet to velocity squat. Pretty simple, right? Not so simple. <laughs> okay, so. Things you want to keep in mind when you're doing this, right? That's going to take some getting used to. What you want to do is things to keep in mind is having a good crow, like really, have, like really have a good solid crow balance, like really good stability. The next thing is having a good solid handstand headstand. Next thing is having a good solid headstand. So using the wall, like from the previous tutorial. Use the wall, practice headstand. And once you can hold headstand onto the wall, fine, and have pro and can hold pro with stability and balance, good. Then you can combine the two, work on transitioning from pro to headstand. So, um, it take a few weeks to get that transition to work for you, so just take time, practice, be consistent, and hope this helps. All right.